what led me to write Quiet Hero was the discovery of some belongings that my mother had stored, belongings that I didn't know she had kept all these years. And we found this old, worn, tattered suitcase, and in it, some incredible mementos and relics from my dad's past. It contained a POW tag. It said Stalag 4B with the prisoner number 305147. And I was looking at this rusted tag saying, who is this person? And then I saw an ex-POW prisoner card, and I realized this all belonged to my father. My father's story is so incredible, and I get choked up when I think about it. Here he was fighting on the front lines in the Polish resistance against a huge machine, the Nazi war machine. Then he gets taken into captivity. He gets sent to a camp in Germany with a shirt on his back at gunpoint. And after months of starvation, he's 90 pounds, and at 90 pounds he escaped. And there he was in the woods, and he saw a plane go by and they thought it was a German plane. They dove for the ditches, and suddenly they realized it was an American plane. And to me, my father's story is such a wonderful, inspiring story, and it also exemplifies what it means to be an American. Here he was, this frail POW with others, and there he saw red, white, and blue, and my father always talks about seeing the troops, showering him with cigarettes and chocolates, and saying, come home, come to America. It was a great moment. This was truly the most incredible story of my life. This has not just been a book. This has been a true journey. And this is my life story. I learned who I was through this book. And I learned who my father was. And I hope it inspires others to uh, become closer with their father too. The most surprising thing I learned while writing this book about my father was how courageous he was. His family could have bought him out of Poland. They could have helped him escape out of the country, escape war. And here he was, just a teenager, and he said, no, I would rather die with friends than live with strangers. And I'm just so in awe that here is this man, this hero, living at home with me, and I, I didn't know it all these years. I picked the title Quiet Hero because there are so many silent heroes out there. Maybe they're your parents, maybe they're your neighbor, maybe they're your teacher. There's certainly people who are in the military, and I hope that this book inspires others to look for heroes, everyday heroes in their own lives, and prop them up. We're going through tough times with the economy and so many other things, and I think this is a moment where we as America can lift up and really salute those courageous people, people in our own backyard.